Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Vocational Series in MATLAB Tutorials. Today we'll be looking at uh, Region Props, BW Label, Find Is Member, Morphology, and all that for shape detection. So we have here the major bits of the file. Uh, I've published the HTML and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. So as normal, we uh, tidy up the screen, clear all the variables and close any open figures. We read in the image here, we notice the JPEG and there's the original image where the mouse is just pointed at the moment. And as I've mentioned several times in class, uh, you want the background to be black and the objects to be white and this is not the case here. So and just to remember this is a JPEG so it's colour. Uh, where the mouse is pointing to here, we converted the grayscale and we showed the grayscale image and on this line here we complement. Now there is a, another function, I am complement, but it, it's okay. So there's the grayscale image where the mouse is pointing to now and where the mouse is pointing to here is the complemented image. Now as you see, we let's say around the circle we just have a white line but we'd like to fill this in here because if we leave it the way it is we'd only get the area of the of the perimeter which is not uh, the area of the circle so just scrolling down a little bit there's the black and white image and how do we uh, get the areas to fill in well I am fill D that's the original with holes and when we see that we get it there, that's the displayed image where the mouse is pointed and there's the command to do it. So what we have now is we have four shapes and we're going to use BW label, region props, it's a is member, etc. And we're going to find the area of each, the bounding box, the centroid, etc, etc, etc. And we're going to find, we're going to rank them, these four objects, which is the most square and which is the least square of the objects later on then. So, uh, as I mentioned before in class, uh, BW label. So that's the first thing here, and I displayed the labeled image. Now there's nothing different here, but uh, just to which way did they come? Now there is a, a file. Now it's not in MATLAB itself, but Viz Labels. Uh, Steve in MATLAB blog wrote the file. I think he wrote it anyway. I hope I'm giving him the right credit. And it's there. That's the link there. You download the link and you save it in your working directory. And when you run viz labels, this command here, you get them labeled here. So there's the four labeled objects. Uh, this is number one. Why? Because this is the first one it meets. If you just drop down here, so this is the first object it meets. This is number two because when you drop down here, this is the second object. This is number three because that's the third object. And this is number four when you drop down here, that's the fourth object. So uh, on the region props here, we got the uh, the area for the four objects, and we also got uh, the bounding box. So I just displayed for the first object that's uh, the rectangle here. So um, for G1, that's the first one, the area is 8491 pixels. So in other words, if you added up all the white pixels there, you get 8491. The bounding box is 23.5139.5. So in other words, the start of it is there, uh, 23 and a half and 139 and a half. It goes 124 this way and 69 down. So that would give me the bounding box to there. Okay. On this line here, uh, I asked it to find um, or the index. I found the index to two of one, two, three, four of the values between seven thousand and nine thousand um, pixels. So, so I found the index. So numbers one and two have that there. I asked it then here to display them. So I did that. I displayed them. So two of the four objects have an area of 7,000 to 9,000 pixels. And then finally, I wanted to find uh, the squareness of each object. So uh, when I don't have time, I'll do it in class if I have a chance. I found the code from uh, where we are there. I put the code in. Now we're getting the ratio of the area to the perimeter, etc. 
and so you get this score and then I print it here I printed the score for the four objects now hopefully I'm not too sure. Hopefully, if uh, you can see it there, and you can see a perfect square would have uh, one as the score. You can see it's 0.97, which is pretty good, and we can see this is 0.92. Now you could apply a threshold and say cut off anything below 0.95 or something like that, but just to give you an idea. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for listening.